is Ben Silver, and I am a community lawyer with the Citizen Advocacy Center at 182 North York Street in Elmhurst. CAC is a nonpartisan, nonprofit community legal organization dedicated to promoting and preserving transparency, accountability, and public access in state and local government in Illinois. For over 20 years, CAC has adv advocated for meaningful citizen participation in local government, including through the Freedom of Information Act, the Open Meetings Act, and other laws geared towards active democracy. <clears throat> I speak tonight in relation to the Freedom of Information Act, the cost of fulfilling requests under the Act, and the Village of Wheeling's response to those requests. The Freedom of Information Act emphatically states that it is the public policy of Illinois that all persons are entitled to full and complete information about government affairs, actions, and policies so that the people can fulfill their civic duties to monitor government and make informed judgments. It is abundantly clear that the state of Illinois demands that municipalities like Wheeling provide requested records to interested persons. Citizen participation should not be disparaged by local governments. It should be encouraged. As with any other government obligation, the Freedom of Information Act carries associated costs which are fully recognized by the Gen General Assembly. Yet the General Assembly declares that, quote, providing records in compliance with FOIA is a primary duty of public bodies to the people, fiscal obligations notwithstanding. The law does provide multiple ways that a local government can manage requests that may result in inordinate costs or the use of excessive government resources. These provisions provide the government relief from voluminous requests, unduly burdensome requests, and uh, recurrent requesters. What the law does not provide is that a local government should attempt to publicly shame and disparage a resident who, in the government's opinion, submits too many Freedom of Information Act requests. In my time as a lawyer and advocate, I've never seen anything like the outrageous letter written on Village of Wheeling letterhead above the signatures of the village officials before us at this meeting and sent to local officials, the press, and other Wheeling residents. Not only is this reaction entirely uncontemplated by and against both the letter and spirit of the Freedom of Information Act, it also largely ignores problems related to village business in order to attack the reputation of a Wheeling resident. In Citizen Advocacy Center's nearly 25 years of promoting civic engagement and monitoring local government, this is one of the most egregious examples of government abuse of power. I hope that the village officials contemplate how this letter and the village's related actions reflect on their commitment to open and transparent government. And I hope the public and neighboring entities do not take the village's bait. <clears throat> Citizens in the state of Illinois have the long-standing right to request information of the government. The government has an obligation to provide that information. I hope that in the future, the village of Wheeling will choose to follow the letter and spirit of the Freedom of Information Act as well as the demands of good governance. It should start by issuing an apology to any residents harmed or disparaged by this government's egregious overreaction. Thank you.